can't say anything. You want to shout, you can't shout. You want to say something, you can't say it. That one is called sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis, most people are able to see that demon. Most people are not. Most people can only feel it, but they can't see it. Are we together? Amen. You can feel there's someone who's blocking you, but you can't see it. That's because now you are at a place of transition between the physical world and the spiritual world. That's why now even demonic beings can come and you can feel that you are being touched by a demonic spirit. Even though you can't physically touch it with your hands. It's because you are stuck in the transition. And it's only through the mentioning of the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. I'm sure most of you have seen, mm -hmm. that you are able to come out of it. Yes. So that is one of the signs that you are transitioning from just dreams to visions. I wish I'm speaking to the right people. Another sign that you are transitioning to visions or to open visions is when you begin to see a lot of flashes of light happening around. For example, you begin to see that blue case. It begins to flash and it flashes the whole time. You begin to see it flickering like this. It's a sign that God is opening your eyes. Third sign that God is opening your eyes, when your eyes begin to itch a lot, when you're constantly scratching your eyes, it's a sign that you are getting to a place of your eyes being open spiritually. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody. Yes. Uh, are, you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you sure you're understanding what I'm saying? Yes. Now, uh, then, then the fourth, t fourth sign that God is opening your eyes is when your eyes, depending on where you get into, for example, you are fine the whole time, but you enter a certain room and all of a sudden you feel like crying or your eyes start burning or your eyes start get watery. It's a sign that there's something that God wants you to see in that room. Remember, God does move with signs and wonders. So you always have to pay attention, especially when you are in the CRLM. Am I speaking to the right people? Can I, can I go further? You had a question. You had a question? Yes. Uh-huh. 